Hey everybody, Brian Castle Hives here. So today I have an unboxing video. Vivor sent me a box here. I don't know what's inside of it. It's, it's some of their products, but we are going to see. Now I know we've seen a couple videos uh, I'm going to dig into this and see what they sent me, so watch this video if you're interested in any of the Vivor products, and let's see how they assemble, and let's see what they're all about, so let's get this thing unboxed. All right, let's see what they sent me. Unboxing this, here we go. Well, boxing looks good that wow so right here wow so I can see I got a deep and I got a medium so it looks like they sent me a standard box with some windows on here instructions look pretty uh, self-explanatory I mean that you know um, there's what seven pages as far as instructions they got pictures on here so you know, that looks good, um, standard box. Um, so let's see, let's set that down there, that down there. Well, I tell you, they look uh, wax dipped, so that's good. All right, look at this. So I've got entrance reducer here. Uh, they sent me some frames black for your deeps and then the yellow for your uh, supers so that's good um, we got all the frame parts here now I'm not going to put the frames together today so let's set that there I'll do that another day now I've seen a couple other videos and um, I, I already know some suggestions now this seems really bottom board that you have here okay that seems it's pretty sturdy now the only suggestion that i've seen and i and i probably would make this suggestion as well is in this bottom board you can see here that these are each individual boards and where the there's these grooves um will water get down there you know will the bees propolize that and seal that shut I don't know. And this is funny because there's a bee right over there. That is hilarious. It's probably one of mine from the farmer's property. Now, back to this bottom board. Um, if this is wax dipped, then the moisture might not be a problem. So, you know, if there's any warping, anything that goes on with this, maybe it wasn't wax dipped properly. If it was wax dipped and this is fully sealed, it might not be an issue. So I can see that they're nailed and stapled clear down the side. So that's nice. That's nice. Let's get into, here we go. So here's another side. Now, this right here, okay, the side here with this observation window, that is nice. Um, However, there's no glass, there's no plexi. Now, Vivor, if, if you're watching this, a suggestion that I have, you know, and these are individual boards here too, it looks like, so I don't know if that will cause an issue. It looks like this sideboard is three pieces, um, you know, and you do have the Vivor right there. My suggestion is I have a hive that has observation windows, and if there was a piece of plexi over this, it would make it nice because if you have any guests over to your apiary and you just want to show little kids or anybody, you could easily pop this off and, you know, look in and see the bees working those outer frames, um, you know, and then you're not having to worry about them flying out. Now, also what I would suggest is for these, um, you know, side like locks, uh, I do notice there is a screw hole in the center of this side port, so that's nice, but 
um, there's no screw port in here, even like a mark or something uh, that would let you know where to put these guides. Now, because if you put them over too much, of course, you're not going to be able to slide your board in. So, suggestion here for installation is to line it up right with that edge and then put the screw in so that you can turn it over so that it's not overhanging so much. So, I'll show you that in the installation part of this video. So, here's the other one here. Um, nice inner cover here. And it does feel, I tell you, it feels like these are every piece is wax dipped. Um, nice, got the plastic queen excluder. Uh, I'm more leaning towards these just because the metal ones, if you're prying on them, you can actually bend them so that there's increased size gaps in your excluders. Uh, and then your queen could possibly get up into your supers. So I do prefer the plastic. So that's nice to see that Vivor it has gone to, you know, the plastics. Um, wow, look at this. Nice cover here. Um, you know, the, the top here also, it has individual boards. It does look wax dipped, but I tell you, weight wise, this outer, this lid, uh, that's, that's, that's some weight. There's some weight on that. Um, let's see here. So the rest in here, this is just all of your, uh, frame pieces. So I'm going to set this over here. Let's see how this goes together. All right, tools. Now I'm pretty sure that you're going to need some type of hammer and some screwdrivers. So I'm not sure whether you need, uh, you know, the flathead or a Phillips. So I've got those. So now I'm going to do the first part here just to show you um, how this goes together. This is that side. Okay. You do have three bolts on this side and the wind's blowing a little bit. So I apologize for that. I'm going to set those down here. Okay. Now there's only one way, you know, that you can install this knob here, you know, because this fits on there. So that would go on there. There we go. That goes on easy. Now I'm going to turn this around that way. You can see the Vivor right there. Now my suggestion, okay, is if you get one of these hives, okay, line this up. All right. You want to line this up perfectly to that edge and then put your screw in. Okay. And you want to take these down a little bit, not that much right there seems about good. Okay. It's somewhat tight. All right. And let me get the other one. All right. That works good. So those slide good. Now you see here when those are on there, you know, you cannot take that off. That's that's nice. Um, lined up good there, lined up good there, that comes off. You can see here that split clear through. It's split there and it's split up over here. So I, I would almost be concerned with ants or something like that getting into there. All right, so we've got the hive together. Now, overall, it looks nice, okay? But a couple tips that I would have, again, I would have plexi here because if I'm going to remove these windows, okay, bees are going to be able to come right out. I don't want that. If I want an observation window, I want plexi in there. Now, I can fix this. I can get plexi and put it on there. Um, I'll throw a link. Bug Farmer did a fix for it. So I'll throw uh, Bug Farmer's video link up there so you can watch that. But major issue here that I had, this would split there. It split there. This completely split clear through. So I don't know the quality of this. Now I would need another whole nother side piece here. Um, so that might be an issue, you know, with the multiple boards and things that they have. I can see that that is a board and here's a board. So this up here, I don't know, using multiple boards, 
you're not going to have as strong of a of a, a product there. So um, something that they could fix. But you know, it is wax dipped. Nice nice lid on here. So. Overall, I could say with a couple tweaks, I probably would use this in my apiary. Um, so we'll see. I'll work with them. I'll see what they say. I'll email them and see if I can get another super. You know, if I can get another deep out of them as well, that way I can, you know, have a complete setup here. I'm going to do that. So Vivor, I'm going to be contacting you, but I'll throw links to um, Vivor. So if anybody's interested in their products, um, I'll throw one of the links also, it's going to be an affiliate link, so it won't cost you anything, but if you purchase anything, you know, I'll get a certain little percentage of it. It just helps me out to do this. You know, I'm taking time on a Sunday here to do this. So, but uh, nice hive setup here. So a couple tweaks. Well, everybody, I am back. I did some thinking here. Now, I, I, I will say this. So for Vivor, uh, you all know I had that super that split. They sent me, literally when I contacted them, so, you know, I had some complaints about the wood, okay? Um, I contacted the rep that I've been speaking to. Literally the very next day, they had another package in the mail for me. A whole another hive setup. So, customer service, I could say that's pretty good. I mean, literally within 24 hours, I had another box that was mailed to me. Two days later, I had it on the doorstep. So, that was great. Now, I will say this. So, I plan on, you know, with these uh, observation windows, I plan on putting Plexi there. So, my only suggestion for Vivor is maybe include Plexi. Um, that way, safety-wise, if you want to show people your hives, you can walk them down, easily pull off one of these, you know, side windows, you know, this side port, whatever you want to call this board, and there's a barrier there, so you can show people the bees. It's very handy. Um, I do have a hive that is set up like that, and when I walk people down there, you can go from the back and then to the side, that way you're not in the flight path, easily pull off one of these boards and you look at the bees working those frames. So. That would be my only suggestion there is the plexi. Now, as far as these, um, you know, little boards here where it holds that side window on, I would suggest just because I know how to assemble these, but I would suggest maybe a small pre, you know, pre-drilled hole. That way it guides people to where to put these pieces. If you put them too far this way, well, they're not going to work. If you put them too far in this way and they overhang, well, it's going to prevent you from pulling off this board as easy. So that's my only suggestion there as far as these. Now, I did also, as you see here, I uh, got my nail gun out and nailed all of these boxes. They were a little bit shaky and they weren't as sturdy, you know, as what I thought, even with all of these joints. So overall, I could say with a couple tweaks, um, nailed it. Uh, you know, I plan on putting the plexi over these windows. This would be a fully functional hive. Price-wise, not that bad. Um, I'll include links as far as there, there's a discount code there. So definitely check it out. I mean, you know, it's, it's not going to break the budget. Um, they are wax dipped, so that is a plus there. I did assemble some of the frames to see how those went together. Uh, very easy. They seem like decent frames. Um, so, you know, overall I could say, you know, will I use this product in my apiary? Yes, I plan on it. Um, I'm going to put those side plexi pieces on and, uh, that's it. So, um, hopefully you all like this review. Um, you know, took a little bit for me to get this out, just working with Vivor back and forth, but, uh, you know, definitely check them out. I'll throw links down in the description. Um, you know, check them out and, you know, maybe you can, uh, you know, add some Vivor products into your apiary as well. So y'all take care and until the next one.